Coleman's canoe and uh, it's got, uh, it had water in it uh, and it busted out, uh, cracked out the sides in a couple of places and uh, we're going to repair this canoe and uh, make it floatable again. We're going to clean this up and get at it. Okay, so we've got the uh, Skano out here in the shop now, and uh, the uh, recommended method is to drill a hole at the end of each crack. Obviously, we can't do it up here. Uh, maybe we can do this one from here. Okay, it's kind of pushed out with the ice. Uh, the water froze, pushed it out. This here piece is out about a quarter of an inch farther. So we're gonna to try to figure out a way to hold that in while we can get a patch, start to get the patch on it. So try to get these pieces all even, uh, squared up and evened up as close as we can. We're just gonna go ahead and try to fill a little bit of this try to start working it in. The plastic is starting to get a little bit of a gloss to it right here. A little bit of shininess. Okay, so we're up front now, towards the front of the Skano, and uh, we're going to do this crack right here. I've already riveted it together, drilled the holes uh, to uh, blunt the, the cracks. Upon further inspection, uh, we found uh, a couple more small cracks along the side of this skano, and so we're going to grind these out a little bit.
The key to plastic welding is patience, and it's not real fast, but it is real effective if you get a good bond. Uh, and that's the... Okay, so we're going to start down here at the bottom. I'm starting to like these thin strips of the, uh, of the um, laundry detergent uh, bottle for a welding filler. Just gonna heat that up so it starts to get a little glossy. You can see it kind of starting to Once you get a feel for it, you can just kind of go by how, how the plastic feels, how limber it gets, and then you kind of know how to, how to work it. I've done here is I uh, put a light on the other side of the of the boat wall and shining a light through so I can see where there might be some weak spots and some holes. There happens to be one right here. I'm going to fill that back, back in. I'm going to put a little bit down here, maybe a little bit in here. Then we're going to go ahead and screen it and uh, reinforce it. Okay, now because this tear over here in the boat was so severe, we're going to reinforce it with some quick mesh. It's this galvanized gutter mesh. And um, so we're going to cut some of this off, lay it over here, push it into the plastic, and then reinforce it a little bit more. Okay, here you can see the screens that we put on uh, the patch. And uh, we push those in with a, uh, just a regular iron. We initially set them in like this with the iron and pushed them in so that they got in a little ways. Then we took our uh, Wagner <clears throat> power stripping gun and heated it up real quick and pushed them in even more so that they sunk in, in partially into the uh, to the plastic of the boat. So. With that done, we're going to finish up here, put in a little more fill here, put another patch across here, and maybe one up here. Maybe we'll just put a big one up all the way across there. Okay, so what we're going to do now is try to lay this uh, mesh right in here and use our iron again to kind of set it. Then we'll come back with the, uh, with the paint stripper okay. again. So we're pushing this mesh into the plastic here a little bit to see if we can, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it is pushing in slowly. <clears throat> so we just kind of iron it into the plastic. Maybe you can see, I don't know, but anyhow, it's, it's pushing in, melting in. I guess we could have tried to sand it and smooth it some.
Gotta be careful, you don't want to overheat that. And that is quick and easy to do. Okay, so got that on there. I think what I'm gonna do is just try to we'll see if uh, see if we can just melt a little coating over the top, and we'll see how that. Goodness gracious. Can work fast with one of these. You don't want to be on it too long. That's what dang sure. Get it pushed in and get the heat away. <laughs> <laughs> 